Well, hello there, my beautiful basilisks. I'm sorry to announce that this is a weird video because I have in finals and I really don't have time to do anything apart from studying. So I thought about really, well, uploading because it's not uploaded on my channel yet, uh, my video uh, that I did for Halloween last year as a collaboration with uh, Messiahs and Mythology and other creators. Go check that video out because it's really great. But because I have, I have now the Spanish Tales series, <laughs> to call it like that, um, I think I would put here the Monucatu, as is a Spanish creature. So yeah, remember this is like a half a year old video, uh, but yeah, you know, if you have watched it, you can skip it this time. But if you could, I don't know, give a like and watch, <laughs> I will appreciate it. Anyway, enjoy the video, bye, and thank you for understanding. Okay, okay, m, m don't panic, don't panic, but we need to appeal to this audience. What do we do? Um, a mythology video? <sighs> I was referring to your qualities. What do you have that other creators here don't? My dark sense of humor? <laughs> Hell no, Messiah is way funnier than you. Just, just think about something. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I have boobs. That joke is dead. Katia may be with us right now. And also, it, it was dead from the start. Honey, I'm sorry to be telling you this, but uh, you, don't, you don't have. I'm sorry, I'm bad at intros. Just tell me, what do you have that others here don't? Uh, mm, um, dead mom jokes. Dead mom jokes. God's fucking damn it myself, I was trying to hold back from those. I mean it. It's Halloween, I, I think it fits thematically. <laughs> Hello, messiahs and mythologers, I guess. Um, I'm mythology and mine, you can call me Eminem. Even though I think messiah sometimes calls himself that. Not anymore, that's mine, sorry baby. <laughs> and today I will be referring to you as my beautiful basilisks, which is why I expect of you to become after this. Even though I am annoying as hell, as you can already tell. Today we talk about creatures, and I thought I could present to you one of my country. I I'm Spanish, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the accent. If you are from the States, you are probably thinking about something like this. God bless you, honey. If you instead are from a first world country, you are probably thinking about this. I mean, you are closer, but my creature is from the north of Spain, um, which looks something like this. I think it's important to imagine the creatures in context, so keep in mind we are in Cantabria now. This means that almost half of the year is raining, everything is covered in green. It's basically like Scotland, but with less rain and better food. You may be wondering, are you going to start talking about the creature any day? Yes, shut up, let me rant. Well, you see, at first I was going to talk about the sanas, which are fairies that swipes human babies for their own, so humans baptize them. <laughs> I think it truly really represents Spain, you know, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. But then I came across this baby, which is basically an incel or a pygmy girl made creature. And how could I not fell in love with that? <laughs> so let's begin talking about it. The Monuka is a cursed creature, born in spring once every 11 years. It is a crossing between a male gado montes, or wildcat, and a female garduña, which is basically a subspecies of whistle. Not the most frightening combination of animals, but whatever. It's only born inside of caves, I guess it's the best place to be born in wildlife anyway, and it has no color, and it's blind, as a baby monuka, as this expression goes. It leaves the cave for unknown reasons. Maybe the Garduña rejects it, maybe it was looking for its mother's teeth while she slept and it got lost. Who knows? Who cares? The legend doesn't specify about this. Anyway, it lives in the forest for a few days, which many are not specified, until it starts seeing. To celebrate this, it goes back into the cave, where its mother conveniently is, um, it sucks her blood and gouges out her eyes. After its revenge, it lives near rivers until it acquires its peculiar color palette. The head stays white as wool, its tail becomes purple, and its body presents a combination of blue, red, and black. At first, it hunts grasshoppers and turtle doves, 
but then it grows more and it starts sucking blood from lambs and children, which is terrifying enough in a society when you need desperately both. When it turns five years old, it gets so big and fat that it cannot longer climb trees or even run, thing that his father, the Gato Montes, takes advantage of. He couches out the eyes of his son with his claws to avenge the dead mother. And let me tell you about dead mothers, because I actually know a lot about this subject. Blinded again, the monuka ends up dying of starvation, hunted by other animals or by falling off a cliff. The Gato Montes takes the eyes of his son to his burrow, where he buries them, and after this, he dies of sadness, as a need for revenge, was the only thing that had kept him alive. <sighs> Shakespeare would be so proud. There are a few more subspecies of Monuka, which are all very rare. They don't have any particular names other than Monuka, so I gave them subcategories, so we don't get lost. One of them is what I like to call the TikTok Monuka, which, as its name indicates, is a monuka with his hair black and red, and one eye of each one of those colors. This monuka kills their father instead of their mother. The garduña is the one that attacks it when the five year pass, but instead of couching out its eyes because it was getting pretty repetitive, it bites off its leg. So the monuka dies eaten by other animals or bleeds to death. Another one is the trad wife monuka. This one is born once in a hundred years, and it's white with a circle of red dots in its spine. And in the middle of this circle, there is a purple spot. You can only kill it if you nail a large pin in there. I don't know how much this creature have to suffer for humans to discover this, but I'm a bet it's a lot. The weirdest type of monuka is the STL, or the stuck traffic light. <laughs> it's only born one every 200 years, so people know little about it. These ones are born from a male beer and a female wild boar. And I have questions. One, why is the creature exactly the same if the parents are of two completely different species from the rest of the monucas? And two, how and why? How and why? This is an image I'll never be able to wipe out of my head and it will slowly make me mad, but anyways. Of this animal, it's only known that its head is red and it glows at night, which is pretty shitty evolution when you need to camouflage yourself. Um, hi, editing M&M here. I have discovered one last type of monuka. The 34 rule <laughs> furry monuka. <laughs> there is so little written about this creature and there is a furry monuka. I, I mean, I'm not complaining, but anyway, back to the original video. <laughs> Do you know what all monukas have in common? That they hate women, hence the insult slash pick me girl metaphor. And they attack them if they're trying to be picked by one, trying to gouge out their eyes and drink its blood, like he did with his mother. But if a man finds one and takes it to his home, the monuka will grant him good luck for all his life. I don't know how that would work if the man is married to a woman or if he has children. Meh, who knows. Maybe insults are the only ones who can see them. I couldn't find anything more written about the Monuka, so I guess I will see myself out. Don't forget to check out my channel for Greek mythology and psychology videos. Or just to hear me in general. I know you hate it, but you're a masochist, aren't you? <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video and have a nice R&H. Bye.